missing was there. And that was the first time that I realized how re recovery comes full circle. You know, I, um, I don't know. The thing that, the thing that destroyed me uh, in my youth made me strong as I grew into man, or grew into being a man. So, When I first meet with clients, I uh, explain to them uh, that I'm peer support, and as peer support, I'm neither a clinician nor a doctor. I'm someone with lived experience in both uh, mental health and substance abuse that is very steeped in recovery, and my goal is to help them find their own path to recovery. Um, you know, I explain to them that you know uh, I can't do things for them, but I can help them find a path uh, that works for them. Also, uh, one of, I guess, kind of my niche, the area that, that I find myself uh, most useful in is uh, helping people learn how to live positively. And when I say positive, I don't mean like, you know, uh, turn a blind eye to everything, it's all going to be okay, you know, puppy dogs and kittens kind of way. I mean like, what can we do about today? Like, if a situation unfolds in front of us and this situation is difficult and it's hard and it's not fun, it's messy and it's just a horrible situation, acknowledging that the situation is what it is, and then taking a step back from that and saying, okay, this situation is what it is, what can I do to make it better? Recovery to me is learning that life is gray, it's not black and white, learning that I am worthy of feeling loved, learning that it's going to be okay, learning that the things that have happened to me throughout the course of my life don't have to dictate my future, that I can live a different way, that I don't have to be heavily medicated and completely zonked and zombie to function in a day-to-day -day life, that I can actually be happy and find happiness, real happiness, not happiness that belongs to somebody else or happiness that was created by somebody else, but happiness that was actually created by me for me.